You've got the snow bunny look down. I'm really happy you said that because I've just come from Australia with my Australian wardrobe. I heard the word sun in Sundance and just didn't think further into it. Turns out it's really cold here. Um, I was not prepared and at the last minute I got a bunch of jumpers and stuff. So, uh, Are you sure you don't have a bikini on under there? Oh yeah, just in case. Just <laughs> hot tubs or something. I see you all over the websites in your bikini, but I'm seeing you this morning and Margot Robbie steps out in a beautiful fur coat. So you're doing Oh, good, good. I'm glad. And you're here for Z for Zachariah, which mm. is getting so much press. You must be really excited because I've heard about this film more than any other, really, Sundance film. So that's a good thing. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I was in Australia for five weeks and I was pretty far removed from everything that was happening here and the lead up to it. So I didn't know that it was going to be getting such a big reception. And the buzz has been great. Ama like amazing so far so it's it yeah makes this even more satisfying was it hard on this set did you have to sort of unplug your post apocalyptic did you have to kind of unplug from your daily activities to get into it yeah fortunately due to the place where we shot the film that just happened inherently because there wasn't any phone reception the closest gas station was like 40 kilometers away we were in the middle of nowhere and uh, really cut off from the outside world you, it, we kind of all got into the spirit of things it Felt like we were the only ones left on the planet. Twitter, Instagram, none of that. Stuff. No, nothing. I don't really. I'm not a big, really into that stuff anyway. I hate my phone. I really ignore it most of the time, much to the, you know, anger of my team and things. But um, but yeah, I, I liked it. It was it was a really lovely break. Well, I gotta ask you because we asked Chris at the Golden Globes, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler did the Who Would You Rather, and they picked Chris. So who would you rather? Who would they rather the Who Would You Rather game out of anyone in Hollywood, oh, and they picked anyone. And they picked Chris. Yeah. That's a so, big shout! Wow. So who would you rather, Chris or Chiwetel, just for fun? Oh, I can't answer that. They're gonna see this. Oh, they're way down there. They no, can't I already got in trouble today for mentioning another one of my co-stars. So I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not treading on any more toes tonight.